Hello everyone, I'm Charles. Welcome to Graphic Design Quick Start. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how to lend a portrait in type in Photoshop. We'll be taking this portrait from Unsplash and lend it in type. This is the final look we are aiming to achieve. Let me show you how this is done. Let us switch to a starting composition. Go to the layers panel. Here we have a black background, our portrait. A layer of small text that we'll be using to fill in the image, some big text, but here you can find I've also applied a warp and also rotated it anti clockwise. If you click on the big text to make it active, unpick the type tool or plus T. Up here in the option bar, you can see the warp icon. If you click on it, you'll see that I've given the text a bend of negative 30% and a style of arch. We also have some background text that we'll be using to fill in the background. Let us get started. Show both the small text and the big text. One thing to note here, the text must be in white and also the leading is quite tight, but the text is still legible. This will help us fill in most of the image. Click on the portrait layer to make it active. Hold on Alt, Option on Mac. Drag it above the big text. To make a duplicate, we'll be filling in the text using the multiply blend mode. So let us rename our portrait to multiply. Go to the blending mode and change it from normal to multiply. Normally, you also disable the underlying portrait layer so that you can fill in the text and leave the background black. Unfortunately, there's too much filling in in the whites of the eye. To work along that, we need to fill in some of the highlights from the underlying portrait. Start by showing it. Hold on Alt, Optional Mark, and click on the left of the portrait layer. Pick the color sample tool. Let us sample the composition of white in the eyes. Click on the light eye. Click on the left eye to apply another sample. This will give you the RGB composition of the eye. And we can see the brightest channel is within the light channel. The red channel makes a perfect mask for the highlights. Go to the options bar and click on clear to clear the sample points. Let's switch to the channel panel. Hold on control, command or a mark and click on the red channel to load it as a selection. Go back to the layers panel. Click on the portrait layer to make it active. Go to the bottom of the layers panel and click on the add mask icon. That will mask everything else apart from the highlights. Hold on Alt, Option Mark, and click on the left of the portrait layer to show all the other layers. Let us add some more contrast on our layer mask. Go to Image, Adjustments, Level, change the black point to 100, and the white point to 200. Change the midpoint to 2. Click OK. You can now see a mask has more contrast. To see the contribution of the highlights, let us disable the portrait layer. That is before and that is after. We can see more of the eyes. The next step is to fill in the background first. Let us select it. We will use color link to select it. Click on the multiply layer. Go to branding modes. Temporarily change it to normal. Go to select. Color link. Click on the background. Here on the dark box, you can see our background is well selected by the show of white, where white is the aliases that are selected and black are the aliases that are deselected. Click OK. Let us work a little on the mask. Pick the lasso tool. Hold on Alt to deselect the unwanted alias. And there we have our background well selected. Go back to the layers panel. Let us invert the selection to select the face. Go to select, click on inverse, click on the background layer, place Ctrl Alt J, Command Option J to jump the selection to a new layer. Let us call the layer face. Click OK. Select the portrait, the text, and the multiply layers. Let us now clip them to the face layer. Go to layer, create clipping mask, or place. Ctrl Alt G, Command Option G on a Mac. Click on the multiply layer. 
let us take it back to multiply go to the bedding mode change it to multiply drag the bagel text below the face layer click on the eyeball on the left to show it change its opacity to 50 percent the last thing i did is create some darkness between the background and the face layer so that you have some nice separation to do that i used the shadow effect click on the face layer to make it active go to effects click on drop shadow push the opacity to 100 percent give it an angle of 180 a distance of 50 in a size of 200 click ok that was before and this is after and plus f a couple of times to switch to full skill mode and that's how lender portrait in type that's it for today like share and consider subscribing to our channel so that you don't miss out on our next episode